Hey, what's up world? Welcome back once again to One Foot Production. Now, you guys know I am an avid music lover. I have a big guitar collection because I just love guitars. I'm not claiming I'm a great guitar player because I am just a mediocre guitar player at best, but I just love everything about guitars. And so a little while back, I started really getting into Eddie Van Halen guitars. So I started just buying a bunch of different ones, checking them out and trying to see the differences. And even though there was a lot of information out there, there were actually big gaping holes in the information. And one of the biggest things that I noticed is that nowhere out there did anybody really touch upon the differences between a Japanese made Wolfgang special and a Chinese made Wolfgang special. Now, it seems though everybody out there has this big, huge rumor and everything, you know, saying, oh my God, you know, the Japanese is like the holy grail and you know, the Chinese one's like, eh, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, nope, that is not how it is whatsoever. Now, for you guys out there who are new and looking for information about Eddie Van Halen guitars, they've been made in five different places so far. Indonesia, Japan, China, America, and Mexico. Now, to me, in my personal experience from playing all these different guitars, I am a fan of the Japanese and the Chinese models. And I'll tell you why. Those particular models are exactly like their US counterparts. That's right, exactly like their US counterparts and hence why they changed everything on them when they moved them over to Mexico. Now, if you see a guitar out there with EVH and it's made in Indonesia, it's not going to be a very quality one. Those to me, in my opinion, were the very like Eh, ones that there were. Now, also a little information. They started out as an Ernie Ball model. That was the very first one. Then they went to PV. Then after PV, they went to Japan. Then they went to China. And then they went to Mexico. Now, the Mexican ones to me are okay. They're not terrible or anything like that, but they are not at all like the Japanese and the Chinese model whatsoever. The materials used in everything are totally different than the Japanese and Chinese model. Now, in Japan, cost kept rising over and over and over, you know? And so Eddie Van Halen took a look at that and was like, wow, okay, I'm paying like a lot of money to use this line here. I could just move this line and switch it over to China and produce these guitars at a cheaper price. But all the parts and everything that are used in both places are identical to the USA made one. And hence why they finally stopped doing that because let's just face it, if you can get a guitar made in Japan or China, that's just the same quality as the American version. Why would you spend that extra money on an American version, especially when they sound identical? So between most of the models, most of the specs are kind of the same as far as the woods and stuff, but between the Japanese and the Chinese model, like I said before though, are identical. The bodies are all basswood, basswood. They all have a maple top. You know, some are just plain, some are the flame top. 25.5 inch scale. Now, one thing I really like, however, are the vintage frets. Now these are 6105 vintage stainless steel frets. That's right, stainless steel frets, which means that they will last forever and ever and ever. They hardly ever go bad. They're just made so well. And if you buy a neck from somebody out there like Warm Moth or anything, you'll see when you ask for stainless steel frets, the frets alone go up about $50. But the Mexican version, it has jumbo 6150 frets. Now these are great, I think, for a lot of things. But for me, the 6105 frets are just nice and small and are easy to play. That's just my preference. Other people will obviously like things differently. Now, another thing about the Japanese and the Chinese guitars, they have the exact same American pickups as the USA version. Now the pickups that they have now in the Mexican version, these are not the same pickups whatsoever. They sound completely different. Um, some people say they don't hear much of a difference, but I don't think their ear is very good because anybody who hears them can hear that they're a lot different than any other pickup out there. Now, something else that's also very interesting about the Chinese and Japanese models. I don't know if, if the other models are exactly the same, but these ones, the neck pickup is actually more powerful than the bridge pickup. Yeah, that's right. So as strange as that is, the neck pickup actually has a higher output than the bridge pickup in these EVH guitars. Now, as far as the necks go, they are quarter sewn bird's eye maple fretboards and they are beautiful. And honestly, I've bought in about 10 different versions of these. Um, they go back and forth. 
Sometimes the Chinese version is a nicer neck. Sometimes the, the Japanese version is a different neck. They have the exact same Goto tuners, the exact same thing that you get on the American version. Still, once again, all the same. Now, we're gonna open up the back real quick and you guys can see that the electronics are also exactly the same as you'd see on the American version. So when it comes to differences between the Japanese and the Chinese version, really the only difference is that the Chinese ones, because everything that comes out of China due to some trade agreement has to say made in China, it has a stamp on the neck that says made in China. Now, if you're out looking for a guitar and you come across one of these guitars that has absolutely you know, nothing on the back of it, it's most likely going to be the Japanese version. Because for the Japanese version, they just stick a little sticker on the back that says made in Japan. I mean, you could pull it off and say made in Hungary, but that's the, really the only difference. So if you're out there and you're right Right now shopping and you're thinking about getting yourself an EVH guitar, um, honestly, the Japanese and Chinese versions for the features that I say are the absolute best you can get. Now, if you can afford a music man, these things are like twenty-five to three thousand dollars. Hey, good luck with that. You can pick up a Chinese or a Japanese version for about seven hundred dollars to about eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, depending on the quality and who's selling it. Now, me personally. I'm not a big whammy bar guy. So all the ones that I've bought have all been hardtails, every single one. I finally ordered one with a whammy bar the other day, but every model I've had until now has been the hardtail version. So um, also PVs. I did not like the PV versions whatsoever. I had a USA one, I had a Korean one. I just, honestly, I didn't like the way they sound. I didn't really like the way they felt. As soon as I bought my first Japanese version, I was completely blown away and I was just like, oh man, this thing plays great. So then I bought a Chinese one and I was like, oh wow, there's just like no difference tonally whatsoever. Um, and the only difference I did notice is it does seem now that I got a bunch of them, the Chinese versions tend to be a little bit heavier. Now, I don't know why that is, probably just because maybe because they're sourcing their wood from a different place, but me personally, I like a big, solid, heavy guitar. The heavier it is for me, unless it's like, you know, weighing 50,000 tons, makes me feel like I got a big, solid piece of wood in, in my hands to play that guitar. So there you go, folks. When I was trying to find this information, I really wasn't able to find any information whatsoever about this. All I did was say, one's made here, one's made there, and let's speculate. Well, I talked to the people at Fender, over and over again about this before I made this video and all the same stuff in these guitars are identical. The only difference, like I said, is one was made in Japan, the rising cost forced it to go to China, but beyond that, it's the exact same parts, the exact same quality control, everything else is exactly the same. So there you have it, folks. If you guys would like to actually see a sound demo between the two, I can bring that, but honestly, you won't be really be able to tell any difference whatsoever. Um, one thing I will note, on the versions that don't have the flame maple cap, I think that these sound just a little bit brighter than the other ones. Now, let me just go over here real quick. These particular ones have a little bit of a darker sound to it. And beyond that, that's the only difference that I could ever tell between the two, and you can buy whichever type of version you want to get the sounds you like. So, I'm Eric. You guys have been watching One Foot. We'll see you guys back here. Love to hear your comments down below. If you want to see more, let me know what you want to see.